Nightmare. Welcome to today's episode of Two Sides of a Coin. Today's subject are the mutual leaders of the Autobots and Decepticons, Optimus Prime and Megatron. One shall stand, one shall fall. How are these two characters similar? What is their history? How are they portrayed opposite each other? Let's take a quick dive and find out. Their most obvious difference comes from their mottos. Freedom is the right of all sentient beings and peace through tyranny. A good way to analyze their ways as leader is how they treat the subordinates. At the beginning of the first episode, Optimus stands next to Jazz, indicating he sees them as an equal to him, while Megatron places himself in a high command chair. Optimus cares for his Autobots like they were his family and doesn't want anything to happen to them, as Spike himself puts it. Whereas Megatron frequently belittles and insults the other Decepticons. Silence, you fool! Except for Soundwave and Shockwave. Usually. Both leaders did lead from the front, which is probably why they had their respective armies respect. Megatron led through a far more intimidating method. But never forget that I, Megatron, will always be leader of the Decepticons! While Optimus was a father to his men. Have a seat, boss. Thrones are for Decepticons. Besides, I'd rather roll. How they meet and form relationships varies depending on the continuity. In the Sun Battle cartoon, Megatron nearly kills Orion Pax and inadvertently creates his own mortal enemy. In the Marvel comics, Megatron becomes single-mindedly obsessed with Optimus as he is the one person who stands in the way of global conquest. In the movies, they were once brothers. We were brothers once. Once. In animated, Megatron barely knows who Optimus is until the end of the series. In Aligned, they were once friends before they became their greatest enemies. So while they may meet in different ways, one constant is clear. They will always be each other's greatest adversary. And as stated before, their difference in ideology shows in their famous quote, Freedom is the right of all sentient beings. Autons believes in individual freedom. You have the right to live your life as you see fit without being oppressed for it, while Megatron believes in peace through tyranny. That free thinking leads to conflict. He is essentially a totalitarian. Finish this planet. We are done here. In fact, as Megatron so famously said in the IDW comics, he doesn't hate Optimus, but more what he represents. They both want the same thing in a way, the revitalization of Cybertron, but both have different methods of doing so. I'll let this conversation Transformers Devastation spell it out. Why must you always interfere? You would place Cybertron at the center of the universe. Cybertron is the center of my universe. How is it not the heart of yours? Cybertron is about all life. Destruction to keep Cybertron on life support. There must be another way. Flesh isn't life. Servos, gyros, and fuel. This is where life comes from. You're defending my product at best. I will restore Cybertron and retake the galaxy. That ambition will be your end. And yet, behold, Optimus, a new Cybertron is being born. No, you are only destroying the Earth, not creating. You don't really believe that, do you? It is the only thing I'm sure I believe. You must be stopped! You're welcome to try! It will be my pleasure! I am not done yet! Sometimes Megatron sprouts out his own troubles and blames it on Optimus. Oh, sad, Megatron! Your war is destroying the very planet you want to save. Our war, Optimus. A war that I am winning. I've tamed the great Omega Supreme. Zeta and the other primes have fallen, and, and yet, yet you continue, continue to resist the inevitable. You have the power to end this conflict right now with one simple choice. Take your Autobots and leave Cybertron forever, or stay and face complete annihilation. This is our home, Megatron. We will stay. We will fight. And... We will win. 
Never mind that he's the one who put the blood of Robo Satan into the planet's core and corrupted it, but hey, it's never the bad guy's fault in their mind. An interesting look into their different philosophies comes when the Stunicons and Aerobots are created. Fill them with hatred for the Autobots and all that the Autobots stand for. Vector Sigma, give these machines personality worthy of him who created me. Let them think for themselves to grow in knowledge and wisdom and let them always value freedom and life wherever they find it. Yet this comes back to bite Megatron. The Stunicons start off as threats but quickly become incompetent villains and while the aerial bots have personality problems, they largely grow out of it. Megatron really needs to grow out of this mindset. A warrior doesn't need a head, just a good, strong body. Megatron doesn't care too much about human life. Otsunus will not sacrifice human life to save Cybertron, but Megatron has been known to use Cybertron's situation to his advantage. Then make your choice, Optimus Prime! But despite this, Optimus is able to stick to his morals. In fact, if the two were able to unite, they would be unstoppable. As they put it in the Generation 2 comic, it is not a pity they don't fight as one, but a tragedy. When they do fight side by side, they are unstoppable. Despite their enmity, there is a mutual respect there between them. In Transformers Armada, when Optimus is killed, Megatron falls into a deep depression and doesn't snap out of it until Optimus is revived. In the aligned continuity, they were allies, but their differing methods drove them apart. Yet Optimus has a hope that his old friend is perhaps still in that monster somewhere. In fact, in some incarnations, Megatron does see reason and becomes an Autobot. But more on that some other time. Optimus represents freedom, Megatron represents tyranny. Optimus values choice, Megatron values automation. Optimus values all life, Megatron sees non-Transformers life as expendable. Optimus treats his soldiers as equals and is a kind and loving dad. Megatron sees his soldiers as expendable tools. Both want to save Cybertron, but both are willing to achieve different means to get to it. They are, after all, two sides of a coin. After eons of conflict, I finally see the truth of your words, Megatron. And what might that be, Optimus? This universe, no matter how vast, will never be big enough for you and I to coexist. One shall stand, one shall fall. One shall stand, one shall fall. Humans don't deserve to live. They deserve to choose for themselves. And you will die with them. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit that bell, like, and subscribe button. If you want updates, join my Discord. See you next time.